14 years ago, um, while I was still uh, a cigarette smoker, I had two bouts of pneumonia that put me in the hospital. Um, and it was after that that uh, I got referred to Dr. Shitty. When I sat in the waiting room, um, I looked around at all the other patients that were in there and, and the majority were on oxygen. And there I was, you know, in my 30s going, this is my future if I don't, if I don't make changes in my, in my health. From that point going forward, it was, you know, what am I gonna do to, to, to quit? He and I got on a program, got me to quit smoking re relatively fast um, and ha have been for 14 plus years. Dave and I have had friends that were over the age um, requirement of 55 and so we knew about the scan, knew that it was an option um, for some and then in January of 2022 they um, changed the age requirements and it went down to 50 which he was now eligible for the scan. With my husband's um, smoking history I knew that there was a chance um, that something suspicious could come up. Once the, the CT was done, um, we were called back within just a few days of, of the results, and that's when uh, they had found the spot on my right lung. Uh, screening for lung cancer is very important um, because it is the number one cancer killer of all people. Um, to be able to catch it in its early stages, uh, we're able to impact uh, and, and save lives and cure cancer, which is unusual in lung cancer. Uh, to do that, we have to screen with what's known as a low dose CT scan or CAT scan of the chest. And that's to be done in all active smokers or people who have recently quit smoking within the last 15 years. This scan was right for Dave because he had been a previous smoker who had quit uh, several years ago but was still within the boundaries of who we want to screen. So when Dave's scan came back it did in fact show a small lesion. Uh, it was uh, still felt to be relatively um, on the lower risk side but there was in fact something in a part of his lung and we discussed that with he and his wife Holly. Uh, we talked about that for um, multiple uh, times we talked on the phone in person and ultimately what he decided after much consultation was that he would like to have that uh, surgically resected. I notified um, a cardiothoracic surgeon in a nearby community that uh, I've had a lot of experience with and have a lot of respect for um, and made sure he had a quick appointment with him so that he could get evaluated and ultimately have the surgery that he needed. He's doing great. Uh, he feels good about his decision, as I think we all do. Um, we'll continue to screen him moving forward, but I'm very optimistic that he has a clear path ahead and should remain very healthy. This low-dose CT scan has really given me a little more insurance that uh, it was caught early enough to where, you know, it prolongs my life down the road because of, you know, making those, those smart decisions with my provider. Dave and I have always been a very firm believer in early detection screenings and I think if you are um, a candidate, um, this is a good screening and uh, to do. Yeah, don't wait. And I think I was down there less than 15 minutes from start to finish and that was checking in, uh, being seen, being brought back by the, uh, uh, the technologist on the table. It's not a claustrophobic thing, it's, a, it's an open CT and being able to go in, you wear the clothes that you're wearing, it's not like it's uh, intrusive or anything. The scan took less than three minutes and I was out. It was very, it was very quick, low dose and um, no issues whatsoever. With the age requirement being lower, you know, before January, he wouldn't have had the option to do the screening, and who knows where we would have been in two years from now. You know, it could have been considered an actual lung cancer instead of a precancerous tumor. Our experience with Dr. Chitty, um, since Dave has been a patient of his um, for years now, has always been great. Um, he's great, his staff, um, they're wonderful to work with. 
Um, we just always had a good experience with the pulmonology group. From the time of the, the, the diagnosis through today, um, it, it's, been, it's been a whirlwind in the very beginning of, of, of uncertainty, but now our family now is, is, is better off because of making those smart decisions back in, during the summertime when we first had the opportunity to, to have those, um, uh, that, that low-dose CT scan done. Um, and, and for us, you know, the future's bright. Yes. <laughs>